heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. Yo, what's up, my fellow stud muffin gaming athletes? Hope you're doing great. Balls deep, only halfway in on this video. If you're new here, hey, before we go any further, I gotta remind people because they're a little slow. Don't be that guy. Don't be the kid wearing the hockey helmet but doesn't play on the hockey team. Ride the short bus to school and get in a special room to hang out with all your special friends. Don't be that guy, but be special. And by being special, I mean hit that mother button and subscribe right now. Otherwise, you nothing but a hater. All right, dog. All right, cool. Got that out of the way. Let's get into this video and this video is about this is black ops 6 just gonna be more of the same shit every year we see people trying to pump up the new call of duty we see every year the honeymoon phase kicking in full effect every year we get all this new i guess excitement and well not me not you a lot of you watch this video obviously aren't brain damaged and you probably know the game by now and you know how this whole activision call of duty advertisement juggernaut works and trying to trick people but it seems a lot of people fall for it and people try to get optimistic about the new call of duty and somehow they think it's it's going to be a new day, a new dawn, a new beginning, and it's going to save the franchise. And is Black Ops 6 that game, my friends? Is Black Ops 6 here to save Call of Duty for the 15th time I've been hearing that in my lifetime of being a Call of Duty Elite Game and Stud Muffin Athlete Balls Deep only halfway in? Is this, is, this, is this the time? Is this the time? No, it's not the fucking time. Let's keep it real and pack this steel. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is going to be more of the same shit. What we have is what we get, and the Call of Duty community is what it is, and these developers is what it is, and Activision is what it is, and this is what we're gonna expect in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This is the facts, Jack. We're gonna get thick, thick, girthy, skill-based matchmaking, sweats galore, loadout weapon, number one gun to use, Call of Duty videos being spammed incessantly in your sub boxes with flashy thumbnails and super oversaturated pictures trying to get you to click on them and then every monkey moron out there with a smoke alarm going chirp with no dad and no goddamn common sense be like, oh, this is the best gun to use, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more. Black up six call of duty videos and every idiot in the world uses the same gun and sliding around using the omni movement like their life depends on it if they lose this call of duty game they get executed like they were in north korea hanging out with kim jong-un and dennis fucking rodman we're also going to get amazing content throughout the year that people are just going to complain about. That was a sarcasm. It's not amazing content. We're going to get the same type maps, the same DLC, the same nonsense skins, the same, I guess, rip off battle pass. We're going to get the same microtransactions horseshit that we get every single year, which is super awesome because I like to spend money on a skin in a first person shooter where I can't even see myself. Please make that make sense. You don't have to. The Call of Duty community, for the most part, are mentally deranged, mentally challenged people who don't have any common sense. That's how you make a ton of money. You literally sell skins in the first person shooter where you can't even see it. We're going to get amazing servers with packet bursts up the wazoo. Can't wait for that. We're playing a first person shooter that used to be super smooth, run 60 frames per second, but somehow, after 15, 20 years of making a game with better technology, we have somehow lost the ability, like the moon landing, they said, oh hey, I would love to go back to the moon landing, but we lost the technology. Roll the clip. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and it's a painful process to build it back again. And that's what Call of Duty is like now. We don't have the ability to have actual proper servers nowadays, guys. We have to have lag and packet burst. Could you know why? Back to the first point. Skill-based matchmaking is a priority over ping. And when you have skill-based matchmaking, circumventing actual ping and connecting people based on their geographic locations and actual good connection, that's why the game falls apart. Modern Warfare 3 right now and Warzone is unplayable. You want to know why? Because hackers and cheaters. And that's what we got to look forward to in Black Ops 6. Ricochet does not work. Ricochet is like a bulletproof vest made out of cardboard. Not doing a goddamn thing. It sucks. 
cheaters everywhere, hackers everywhere, especially if you get good. If you start to get a lot better, for a lot of you out there who don't see a lot of cheaters like myself, it's because I'm not in the top tier brackets. I'm like a 1.5, 1.8 KD, maybe even lower because I just run around and don't really care about my stats anymore and I just want to just act crazy and try to get a couple good gameplays where I look like a madman running around with shotguns like the gameplay you see behind you and just, you know, so my KD just tanks because I'm not actually playing with any kind of, you know, common sense but people who actually play this game and are good at it uh, you're going to see a lot more hackers a lot more cheaters and even down the lower ranks until they get out of there you're going to see a lot more cheaters a lot more hackers a lot more just dusted lobbies filled with people aimbot and also at the same time there's so many peripherals nowadays and so many things that can like sort of look like cheating because people take call of duty so seriously with their scuffed gaming controller cronus is I don't know, they're freaking Adderalls, they're 1.1 milligigawatt super monitors and $10,000 PCs and their TTV in their name type mentality that just blur the lines between being good at Call of Duty, being a sweat, and then the cheaters. So now because also the same fact that we don't know if there's people are cheating or being real, we don't understand or even realize if our gameplay experience is actually authentic. Because cheating is so rampant in the game, we always feel and always think the worst. When you die from somebody who may just have good aim, you're like, oh, I got cheated out by a cheater, which just ruins the experience even more so. Like if you knew the ricochet anti-cheat worked, you wouldn't be feeling so cheated all the time. But then, speaking of cheating, not just cheating, Activision themselves in Black Ops 6 were going to be cheated as well from an authentic experience because of skill-based matchmaking, which seems to be the big talk of town, skill-based matchmaking, SBMM. But you know what, the one thing that people don't want to talk about, which I do not hear or see a lot of people mentioning, they always brush over it. I see people in my comments wanting me to talk about it. I have talked about it before in the past, and that is engagement optimization matchmaking where the game can be in real time manipulated to give you a good or bad experience depending upon what you're doing in the game because activision's number one goal when it comes to call of duty is to keep you playing the game you don't play call of duty as they say call of duty plays you you're not having an authentic experience if you enjoy playing call of duty and you're having a good time Hey man, cool, but just let it be known that you are being manipulated. I am being manipulated when you play these video games because all they do is they try to make the game rigged for you to stay in the game or other people to stay in the game so that you can stay on there as long as you can have a higher propensity, higher chance to buy their shitty microtransactions. And by EOMM, what I'm talking about is this. A lot of people you do know, but just a little refresher course and maybe new information for some of you out there. The game has patents, Activision has patents, where bullet registration, hit detection, as well as damage per bullet can be manipulated to give you an advantage or disadvantage. If you've ever noticed in a game, and this has happened to all of you, and I'll give you an example because it's happened to me so many times, and I know it'll happen and has happened to all of you watching this video. How many times have you started off a game doing really awesome, like you're just on a tear, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you cannot catch a break. You start off like on a 10, 20 kill streak, and then next thing you know, you're dying over and over again, losing gunfights, bullets just don't seem to be registering, things don't seem to be going your way, and you just end up having a average game. Just like at the opposite, you could start off horribly, and then all of a sudden, halfway through the game, you start to kick ass, and then you end up like that Seinfeld episode for all us boomers out there reference, even Steven. The game always wants you on an even playing field, even ground. They don't want people dominating too much. So what they do is they rig the game, manipulate the game real time with AI. And honestly, it is... It's horrible. It's it's not an authentic, actual, real experience. We're just being played by Call of Duty. We're not playing the game anymore. The video's over. I'm the ghost of V. Black Ops 6, more of the same shit. Expect it. Don't come out here with your optimism thinking like this is going to change Call of Duty. Things are going to be different. Thanks for watching. Stay black. Question. Throwing on the hind card. Finish it. Turn the mid-hand. 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 Turn